Mia, what about you? You know when you came online, I mean, did you not go crazy? <laughs> you know, with all these uh, push button softwares and, you know, uh, learning all these different things. I mean, infinite information overload, uh, how did you deal with that? Yeah, it really is. It can be very overwhelming. And, and you know, it's it's a bit concerning because I, 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 I see people that are just, they just struggle so much online. And I think, again, for me, the reason I was able to persevere for years of trying to figure out the online thing um, was just because I, I I wouldn't recommend this to anyone, but I was just so ruthless in my perseverance and in my, I'm gonna make it happen. That's not how I operate anymore. So if I came online now, I'm like, I would have a very different approach, but I would literally be up till three, four in the morning and then I'd get up at seven and, and go do my speech therapy and I would push my body, push my body. And I don't recommend that to anyone. But one thing I did realize was there was a lot I was trying to figure out, you know, through the night and do my own pages. And I loved outsourcing stuff. So I found Odesk. Um, Odesk was my favorite. I found great contractors on there who could do just about anything I was trying to do. And they could do it for, fra you know, for a, a small fee and they were way better at it than, than I was. So I could just focus on the things I needed to focus on. So you really do need to build your team and make sure that um, you're not, burning yourself out trying to do everything yourself because that's just not going to get you anywhere.